is marriage a do or die attack? Even when we know we have such things up work coming on. Okay, marriage. Marriage is not a do or die affair. Either that's, uh, let me just say that, you know, first and foremost, uh, God frowns at divorce. Mm. But there's nothing that says that if somebody is physically being abused in a, in a home or they can no longer em endure that, uh, that relationship, they have to remain there till they die. Uh, a person can be separated from their spouse until the other person who is the aggressor, I would like to say the abuser, gets help. If I do not know much about you as a person and you are committed in church, for example, as a worker, as an individual in the church, most likely people will begin to look at them in that light. Oh, this person is a committed brother. This person is a committed sister. And people begin to rise to the ranks. And oftentimes, people do not want to bring their dirty laundry in public. And so, the person who is enduring the abuse doesn't want to speak about it because everybody wants to project their best image. I'm just giving instances, you know. I'm just using that as, a, as, a, as an example. Uh, so people come to church and they have problems. But I like to look at church this way. A church is like a triage in a hospital. A church is like a place, an emergency room when people come and they need help. People are actually, they have issues. And if we are not, and that's why it's important that for those who are supposed to be leaders of congregations, leaders of units in every, in every sphere of, of Christian life, we have to be very, very observant.